Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my fold over bag, um, but it's not actually mine. Um, I was scouring across Pinterest and I came across the beautiful fold over top bag that my lovely upline Sam Pootles created. And it is just that, it's her fold over bag. Um, but it was really the more the design and the fact that I wanted to show off this absolutely beautiful DSP. Honestly, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love it. Uh, it's from the In Good Taste suite that is one of the new suites in the catalogue. And like I said, I love it. It is just my my type of paper and it's just divine. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek of it if I can grab it. So I've got a couple of bits here that I've used, so I'll take them out of the way. If anybody remembers the wood grain one that we had previously, um, but this is 12 by 12, so I'll just quickly go through and show you. So we have some really beautiful um, wood type um, and, and sort of concrete, I guess, paper and some other sort of patterns that is just delightful. Beautiful, like, um, our embossing paste there. Hint of blue on that one. And then this lovely wooden one, crazy, almost fabric-y type pattern. Another wood grain. And then on the reverse, again, we've got, like, brickwork, some tiles, some more sort of fabric, tiles tiley fabric and more crazy designs more bricks and like I said there's just the tile one some more embossing paste one see what I mean aren't they just gorgeous I love them they are so so pretty um all right let me just get that out of the way <coughs> excuse me so Let's make this bag. So I'm going to grab my scoring board. So to start off with then, you need a sheet of DSP that is 8 by 11, which is 20 by 20 point, sorry, 20 by 29.5 centimetres. On the long side, we're going to score at 2 and 5 eighths, 5 and a quarter, 7 and 7 eighths, and 10 and a half. And then we're going to rotate it clockway, clockwise, and we're going to score the short side at two and five eighths, and six and five eighths. So in centimeters on the long side, it will be seven, fourteen, twenty-one, and twenty-eight, and on the short side, it will be seven and seventeen. Simple as that. So we're going to fold and burnish the score lines and this is really as are Sam's projects but this is really quite a quick and easy one but I think it would be great especially as we've got Father's Day fast approaching I think this would do do well okay so thinner panel at the top and you've got your squares at the bottom so we're going to work our way from left to right cutting up these bottom panels here, all the way up to that horizontal score line. And then we're going to cut away this last piece because we don't need that. Okay. We are then going to pop some adhesive down this side here and then fold the bag over to close. And then as this now is the back, we're going to pop the sides in, then the back, so the front is left till last. And again, just add some adhesive to that and fold it over. And as you know, I always like to pop it up and just stick my hand in there just to make sure that adhesive's um, sticking. So now we're left with our top section here. So this is the back of my box because there's my join so I'm literally going to push the sides in 
and bring them all together. And once they're together, I'm going to squeeze them so just to reinforce that part there. And then this piece simply folds over. And that's it. Okay, but before we do all of that, now I don't have a piercing or a punch that's got a long enough gap to fit down here. So where that fold is, it kind of goes down a little bit further. I'm just using my paper piercer and I'm just eyeballing probably about a centimetre down and creating a little hole there. Exactly the same on the other side and just create that hole there. Okay. I've then used my linen, braided, braided linen, braided linen trim and I'm going to go through carefully. This is always the hardest part here. We'll go in this one I think. So you need to thread your ribbon through. Might be easier with ribbon because obviously this trim does fray slightly. And just re and then pop this one through. Obviously, if you've got scissors or anything, that perhaps would help. Uh, scissors, like a, a darning needle or anything, that might help. And then when I fold this together and fold it over, I did actually grab a couple of little pegs to hold it in place because otherwise it's fairly impossible to try and tie this but don't put your pegs on until you've got your thread tight <laughs> otherwise it won't work <laughs> okay let's try again pegs on ribbons there or trim and then I'm just going to tie a bow on the top here It's not tight enough at all, is it? I'll try again. It's still not very tight, but it's doing it this time. I'm not messing with it. So, okay, that's the best it's going to get. So I'm just going to trim that tatty end off there and take those pegs off. So there is my bag with its folded. If you get some little sort of bits here, look where the bag's folded, you just simply need to smooth them out. That's all you need is to just smooth them out and they soon disappear. Now to decorate, I've got some very vanilla. This is the stamp set that goes with that beautiful sweet, Tasteful Touches. Again, really appeals to me with the, the sort of the texture and the different um, parts to it but I'm going to stick with what I've already done so you are the best this time I'm going to stamp it in soft suede just in the center there and then I've got crumb cake here just clean that stamp off And I've just used the squares pattern there, which I'm just going to stamp off and then just sort of add some random bits of stamping there. And then tasteful labels dies. I hope you're excited about these. Look at those. There are some stitched shapes. And there are non-stitched, so I'm going with this stitched one here. Just to move my stuff out of the way. I'm just going to bring my die cutting machine in just for this. And then pop that in with my beautiful new die on the top. Run that through. And then quite simply, stick that out of the way, slide that off, get this out of the way. And then I just need a couple of dimensionals. And like I said, I think this would be ideal for 
a gift for a male just because of the neutrally type tones and things and then I'm just going to stick it just there and there you have it my two fold over bags thank you very much Sam they are perfect thank you for joining me and I hope to see you all again soon bye